This is a video overview of the JavaFX features of Snapcode, which is now the first and only pure JavaFX IDE. So with Snapcode launched, we'll see the welcome page is running a JavaFX animation here. And I'll go ahead and create a new project just by clicking the new button. I'm going to call it Studio. Click OK, and I'll go ahead and open this new project. And we'll see the home page comes sliding in using a transition. And then the home page itself has some mouse over effects. So each of these options here is scaling up. And I'm going to start by making this a starting studio project. So I click that and it adds a studio project file and adds a scene class. And our scene is empty. So I'm going to start by adding a new actor. And then I'll select the cat and click OK. And it adds the cat. So I'll just position the cat here. And then I'm going to switch over to the snap code for the cat. And so we see it's got a constructor and a main method and an act method that gets called for every frame of our animation. And so I'll start by saying I want to set the rotation of the cat to the angle between the cat and the mouse. And then I want to have an if conditional in here. And for the if conditional, I want to say if the distance to the mouse is greater than 10, then I want to move by 10. So it'll move towards the mouse. And then finally, I want to add some pen graphics here. So I'll go ahead and drag in pen down into the constructor so it'll immediately put the pen down. And then on each act method, I want it to set the pen color to a random color. So now with our uh, code entered, I'll go ahead and hit run. And we see it brings the console tray up. And then here's the cat, and the cat is chasing the mouse around. And there's the pen following it, uh, setting the color to a random color at each step. So I'll go ahead and close our window here. And I also want to add a little bit of console programming. So I'll go to the scene, and I want to configure its main method. And I'll, I'll go ahead and put in a loop. I want this to just run over and over again. And in the loop, I want to ask the console for an input string. And I want to define a variable. So I'm going to switch over to pure Java code here. And I'm going to say, uh, my string color is equal to, and inside of here I'll say enter a color name. And then I want to say set the color of the console to this color string. So I'll save that and I'll hit run. And again, we'll get our application with a cat, and the cat will chase the mouse. But up here, I'll go ahead and type in some colors red, green, blue yellow, gold, silver, pink, uh, light pink. So we've just done some simple console programming here. So I'll go ahead and close this. And uh, I'll show you the tray here. Uh, like most standard IDs, there's a lot of support panels. Uh, so the first one shows us uh, any warnings or errors uh, in our code here. So if I add an error, we see the uh, error show up. And, uh, but I'll get rid of those. And we have a console that shows the output from our application. And we have debug and breakpoints. Uh, in our text editor here, I'll go ahead and hide that tray. Uh, and we also have a code helper. If I click on this, it'll show us uh, all the methods for the selected object. And I can drag and drop those in. Uh, and when I open and close that, it uses an animation, a transition to slide in and out. And uh, so in my editor, this is all a pure JavaFX editor. It's got syntax coloring and it's got uh, uh, symbol occurrence highlighting. So when I select a symbol, it highlights every occurrence of that. It shows it in the occurrences bar over here. Uh, on the other side, we have indicators for super methods and interface methods. and if I double click, we can set a breakpoint. Uh, so, uh, and we can choose uh, uh, a symbol and, and click for the documentation. And here it'll pop up the documentation for the string class. 
So we have all the features expected in a modern IDE. So I'll go ahead and uh, close this. And I want to create a new project. This one I'll call Asteroids. And in Asteroids, I'll click Open. And I'm going to choose the project settings here. And I'm going to go to Server. And for my server, I want to pull this from a remote, a remote repository. So I'll go to reportmail.com slash examples slash asteroids. And it'll make a connection to that HTTP directory. And it finds all those files. And I'll click Update Files. And it'll figure out which ones are newer and need to be updated. And in this case, uh, it's actually all of them. And uh, it'll start pulling down those files for us. OK, so our project is loaded up. And we can click here and look at some of the source files. And uh, and we can click on the uh, on some of the sounds here. So I'll choose like the energy gun, and we can uh, play the sounds. Uh, we can actually record over them if we wanted to. And. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the main class. This is actually a, a Greenfoot project. In Greenfoot, the main class is always a world, and space is a subclass of world here. So with space selected, I'll just double click it, and uh, it'll run the application. And there's my spaceship. So I can shoot. And I'll cheat and use the uh, proton wave. And then uh, if I if I want to restart the program, I'll just hit the reload button here, and we get a brand new instance of our space class. And so uh, well, that's the asteroids. So I'll go ahead and close that, and. Uh, so again, with, with some of these classes selected, we can switch over to snap code and see what this stuff looks like with the uh, pieces instead of the Java code. But we can always go back and forth. And we can also see files by clicking on their bookmarks up here. And we can close the bookmarks for files that we don't want to see anymore. And, uh, and then as we click on new files, we see that they slide in again. And then at the top here, we do have the bookmarks, and we can edit bookmarks, and we can bring up uh, Google if we've got a bookmark that uh, uh, points at an HTML file. We'll see that. If I click on School, uh, it'll load up uh, some documentation for Snap. And then in our toolbar, we have some buttons here that are loaded up as JavaFX nodes. And they have emboss effects on them. And when there's a mouse over, there's a glow effect that's added to it. Uh, we can easily open up a file by just typing in its uh, name in the search panel up here. And uh, the, the JavaFX code editor is pretty performant. And, uh, and that is a basic overview of the first uh, JavaFX IDE, Snapcode.